Okay, it's time to reveal the messiest garage in America. When we teamed up with Country Living Magazine to find a garage in need of a makeover, our viewers raised their doors to expose mountains of clutter. But the most impressive mess of all was in quiet Cherry Hill, New Jersey. This house, with all its curb appeal, picture-perfect decor, and pristine white kitchen, is hiding a dirty little secret. This is the messiest garage in America. <laughs> John and Cheryl Murphy and their five kids have way too much stuff to stash. Everything from commercial tires to bikes, to Christmas decorations, the tools. This family loves anything on wheels, but has collected so many bikes... 12 to 15, maybe? <laughs> ...that you have to wonder where they came from. Their friends' bikes find homes here, too. Yeah, free storage. <laughs> <laughs> and since nobody can find the outlet in the garage, motorized pocket rockets get recharged in the living room. I have bikes coming through the kitchen, which I never expected. Containing the chaos is high on John's to-do list. But somehow, it never gets done. He cleans it by rearranging it every month. We do. You do. It makes me feel like I'm getting rid of stuff. <laughs> he just moves it around, that's all. The one thing that's never been in the garage is this. John's baby, a 1948 Plymouth. It's had a car run into it, and it's had a couple of bikes and skateboards hit off of it. And while the hot rod is one casualty of the clutter, the Murphys fear there could be more. We have a lot of kids in there occasionally. They come out, though. Yeah. Enter the cleanup experts. 1-800-GOT-JUNK, a national chain, volunteered to help the Murphys find the floor. Holy smoke! <laughs> We got a bit of a job here. We're going to go in, we're going to figure out what you want to keep. We're going to figure out what we can donate, reuse, recycle, anything we can, and the rest of it. It's junk, we'll get rid of it, we'll take it out of your hair. What is so began the archaeological dig through six years worth of trash and treasures. There were quite a few memories buried among the ruins. Kramer, that was the first Valentine's gift. To John, for me. But before he lived with me, so I didn't have to look at it, actually. John, what do you think about these? Do you need these? The editors of Country Living help the Murphys figure out what to keep and what to toss. We really need four <laughs> water sprayers. How about this stuff over here? How about the boogie boards and all the snowboards? They're my mom. They're your mom? She ain't skating anymore. She's not gonna miss them? No. Okay. They were finding things that they have been looking for for months. So I like it. It's really gonna be about getting all their tools and bikes and hoses and electrical cords. Everything has to be organized and accessible. It took a few hours and a lot of elbow grease. But finally, the Murphys had what they desperately wanted. A clean garage and a fresh start. And Cheryl and John Murphy are outside their new and improved garage, along with Nancy Soriano, the editor-in-chief of Country Living Magazine. Good morning to all of you. Hi. Good morning, morning. Russ. Hey, Cheryl, I'm going to begin with you. I know, I know this cleanup benefits the entire family, but you especially wanted your husband to have a clean garage. Why? This space is his peace. He likes coming out here and getting away from us all, and <laughs> he couldn't find his way to get here anymore, so I thought this would be really special for him. John, I can't believe you have that cool car, and you had this messy garage. You couldn't put the car in there. I mean, how happy are you that the garage is now clean? Uh, I can't wait, Russ. It's been uh, totally awesome, but uh, my kids... My five kids' uh, stuff comes first, so that's basically what was in the garage, you know? Nancy, let me uh, ask you this question before we actually see the unveiling here. In general, what's the first thing people should consider when they're planning on cleaning out their garage? I think they really have to assess and think about how they use the garage. Do they have cars in the garage? How many? Is it really more of a workspace? What are your needs? And then you can really figure out how you can execute it and, and be successful. Okay. Uh, Don't open the door yet, but we're going to begin our tour. Nancy, tell me first about this brand new door. We got a fabulous uh, garage style, carriage style door from Clove Hay. And if you remember from the video before yeah. that we just saw, the garage was held up with stilts. Uh -huh. So this was the first great transformation of making over this garage, getting an operative garage door that looks great. Okay, John, open her up. Let's take a look. There she goes. There we go. 
I feel we, we should have music it's, or something for this. It's just, it's just, <laughs> I know, because it's really just the beginning of this transformation. Wow. Okay, I'm going to scoot inside. Okay. Uh, okay, walk us really through here, amazing. Nancy. Okay, we started with a system from Gladiator that's available at Sears, and we actually worked with a company called MrHandyman.com that helped uh -huh. us install everything, a national um, company. But what's great about this system, Russ, is that you can customize your needs. You have these horizontal strips that you just put right into the studs of your garage, and then you buy different components, baskets, hooks for your bicycles, and you snap them right in. Then we also from Gladiator got this great floor um, mm -hmm. that comes in large, two different lengths. And what's fabulous about it is that you can just bring it into your garage, roll it out, customize it to the size, and just use good, sharp pinking shears to cut it. That's a rubber and floor, have a new right? Floor, really. It's our heavy duty rubber floor, so it's easy to maintain, easy to clean, and most of all, easy to install. Okay, they also have, I understand, some then freestanding a, storage units. Tell me about those. Yes, these um, are great. This is a line um, from Souter, which is a do-it-yourself. Very simple, though. It's a line called Hot Rods, and specifically made for the garage. And we have three different units. We have a freestanding island that can rotate, a fabulous unit in the back that has a pegboard. John has a lot of tools. He's got a lot of automotive tools. Uh -huh. He's got a lot of gardening tools. And with a system like this, you can really customize what you need with the tools that you have as well as storage. Then what we did on the upper part of the garage, this is a great tip, mm -hmm. 12 to 18 inches below the ceiling, we installed metal shelving from the container store. And this is a great place to store the seasonal stuff you don't use day to day or week to week, gasoline things, things you want to keep away from the kids, get it okay. off the floor and up and, in the... And Nancy, um, very quickly, show me the above. drink dispenser. Yeah. This is so much fun. It's from Maytag. It's a uh, Beverage dispenser. You can put in different beverages. Um, I'm trying to get a Pepsi ah. over here. And we did it with a NASCAR motif and theme since John and the Murphys are so into automotive. So, John and Cheryl, so, are, you, are you happy? Very. We love it, Russ. Thank you. Where's that car going? It's uh... right there. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, <Eventually. laughs> Nancy, John, and Cheryl, yeah. congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see Thank you, you so much. Thanks very much. <laughs> Bye -bye. You're watching the Saturday Early Show on CBS.